Hello everybody, this is Jason Hires. I'm going to try something a little bit different. Uh, instead of doing a classic album review, I am going to do a new album review. This actually came out not that long ago. Uh, the album's by Carlos Santana, or by the Santana Band technically. It's called Africa Speaks. Here's the album cover. Now I have to admit, when I heard the original mini promo, they released like a EP of a few songs that uh, actually didn't end up on this album. I was a little bit skeptical about this, but then uh, I started reading some reviews and they were pretty positive and I actually decided to go ahead and pick this up and give it a try. And I have to admit, I uh, am enjoying this album. Um, now Santana, you know, has done... Uh, his recent history has been a little bit uneven. He did like 10 million different art albums where he was uh, collaborating with different artists. And of course the relative strength and weakness of almost all of those songs was based off of who he was collaborating with. Occasionally they'd be really good if he had a strong collaborator. And if he had a bad collaborator it'd be terrible. Uh, there's this just awful version of Oye Como Va that he did with Pitbull, for instance, and I'd rather I'd never hear that ever again in my life. Now this album is actually him doing new material, and uh, this uh, features pretty prominently a singer that I had never heard of before. And uh, I guess she's a, a Spanish singer, she's pretty big in... Uh, Latin American music circles. Uh, I am going to guess that her name is pronounced Buica, B-U-I-K-A, but my Spanish is a little rusty, so I could be wrong about that, but I'm guessing it's Buica. And uh, anyway, this album ends up being pretty good. Actually having the consistent vocalist really helps. Um, and um, it has some, some really decent songs. Uh, it's a little weird, though, because the very first song is called Africa Speaks. And uh, normally when you have an album and with the song title and it's the very first song, usually it's a pretty epic song, but Africa Speaks is kind of weird. It sort of lays down a foundation for the album, but it's really like almost two or three mini songs together at once, and it's kind of an oddball track. It's sort of an odd way to start off the album. Once you get past that song, though, you get into Batanga, Oye Este Mi Canto, Yo Melo Merseco, and Blue Skies. And those are all pretty good songs. So the, it hits a nice streak. There's a, another song that's uh, Breaking Down the Door that has kind of a very traditional Latin feel to it. Uh, and it's also a pretty good song. This album is produced by Rick Rubin, who... Uh, is a very good producer and it kind of reminds me in a in an indirect sort of way of the work that he did with Johnny Cash where he got Johnny Cash to kind of break down to his raw essence of what he did with the American series of albums like that really brilliant cover version of Hurt is uh, Rick Rubin and Johnny Cash they made that together um, this album is recorded by Rick Rubin and kind of what it does is the way he produces it, it gives him some nice life and there's some good breath in it. Uh, Carlos Santana's tone is very good and there are moments when he plays with some really fiery passion that remind you again why Carlos Santana is the great guitar player that he is. In a way, sometimes when people record Santana, they sort of smooth him out a little bit and he loses that kind of that dangerous edge to his playing. but. On this recording, it's there, and it's definitely real. So there's a very passionate, fiery kind of tone in his guitar. Having the consistent singer, I think, is a big help. Um, you know, there's a lot of songs that I have no idea what the lyrics mean because, you know, my three years of high school Spanish doesn't quite cut it. Uh, as you can tell by my butchering of the pronunciation of many of the song titles. But... While this album isn't like a must-have, I would say it's a good solid album, and if you like Santana, it's a better Santana album than that's been released in a while. Um, the four album he did with the uh, group that was basically the core band that he did after Santana 3, which 
comprises of a lot of the guys who actually were the core of Journey in terms of the musicians was okay, but it was just too long. I think this has a little bit better balance and uh, consistency, and I think the Rick Rubin production really does help on this one. So if you get the opportunity, check it out a little bit. Uh, like I said, maybe skip Africa Speaks, the lead track, a little bit because that's a little bit of an unusual track. All right, thank you, and have a good one, guys. Bye.